Hi, I'm Mauri Katarina, and I deep clean people's homes for free. People contact me through Instagram, by phone and via email. They contact me because they need my help. For various reasons, their lives and homes are in a state of chaos. A lot of trashes, dirt, mold, and finally a smell. A very bad smell wakes them up for cry for help. Sometimes help is asked by their friends and family. I don't mind the smell. I'm happy to send it away. Woo! <laughs> what is that? Looks nice. I love to make a difference and help people get a new clean start. Bye bye smell soon. Ooh, mold. Woohoo! More mold. <laughs> this is beautiful bowl of something. Wow, that was incredible. The toilet is not that bad but still messy. I don't know what has happened here. Ooh, hi! It seems strange. What's wrong with this lemon juice? Weird. A lot of clothes and dresses and everything. Whoa. That table looks perfect because I want to clean it. Coming up in this video. Huh? Okay, let's start from the kitchen. This kitchen smells really bad, so I want to clean it first. Ooh, there's that beautiful bowl of mold on top of it. <laughs> I want to save it a little longer. It looks so good. <laughs> Oops. Let's empty the sink and then wash it. In the meantime, I want to tell you a little bit about the house owner. No matter how old you are, you can find yourself in the middle of problems. Sometimes friends worry about their friend, whose home and life is a mess. They tell me that no other adult knows about the situation and ask me to help their friend. This is the situation in this case. The young boy was not willing or not yet able to talk about his situation or what lead into the situation in his home. I believe that this is his first home and he doesn't know what to do. I remember when I was in high school and we had to write our first long essay. It felt like a big and huge impossible task for me at the time. I was deeply depressed in high school, so I didn't have that much strength. It felt like I didn't know how I'm able to write that many pages of text of something that I'm not interested in. Then my friend came and wrote it for me, showing me an example of how easy it was, at least for her. <laughs> she was good at school and when I saw how she did it, I was impressed and it gave me a spark that impossible things aren't impossible at all. It was cheating, of course, <laughs> but it was such a relief for me back then. I got help and I also saw how things are done easily. It gave me hope that maybe I can do it also for myself. I think this is the same case here. I try to help this youngster. I bet cleaning this house feels like an impossible task for him. But then I come here and I clean it in a day. It doesn't feel big anymore. I also receive message from people who live in homes like this, messy and grimy. And they have felt hopeless and lonely about their situation. Then they have seen my videos and it gives them a spark that maybe they can do it too. I love to receive before and after pictures how people have cleaned their messy homes. That's why I want to film every home cleaning that I do. It can help someone somewhere 
When everyone can see that cleaning a house like this isn't an impossible task at all. This is not the first time to meet a young person who has problems. Still, the saddest thing is to receive message from children all over the world. They send me pictures and videos of their home. Some of them cry. I try to encourage them to speak up in school about their situation. If I'm not able to help them any other way. Their parents can be in a really bad condition, but there's still other adults who could help them. I wish I could help them all, of course. I wish I was able to clean their home every time. I wish someday I can clean and help people all over the world. That's my dream. I really love to do these home cleanings and make the homes a happier place to live in. This is not at all the worst home I have seen, but this could have been a beginning for some serious problems. I thought it is a good thing to jump in early enough to avoid the worst to happen. Youth should be a careless and fun time, but it does not always go as in the films. It can turn out to be hard to start your own life. My granny just told me that the world might be a better place, but nowadays we are expecting a lot from our children. They should be something and they should know a lot of things. Social media has changed the world for good. You have the world in your pocket and that's pretty cool. You can see all the time where people are and what they are doing. You are very aware of what is in and what is out. Many people seem to have a fabulous life. And this might make your life feel miserable. When you start to compare, you will end up feeling nobody. You can have the feeling that you don't fit in. You cannot reach the standards that seems to be out there. For me, I have never felt that way. Even though two years ago I had 300 Instagram followers. And that was it! Now I think I have over 12 million on all of my platforms and it feels almost the same. My life is almost still the same. I'm as important to my family as I was two years ago. My friendships haven't changed. Okay, maybe I'm getting more money and I'm super grateful for that, but I'm not spending it more as I was before. I don't feel any better about myself. I'm just as happy as I was before my social media blew up. And I know if you are an influencer, you have to film your life all the time. I couldn't do that. No way. I'm not that good. And I appreciate if you film lifestyle or beauty things because you have to figure out new things all the time. Your life should feel fabulous and interesting. You have to make sure that you get good outfit photos. You have to look good and be good. Like I'm wearing the same clothes almost every day. The same leggings and same hoodie. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. I'd be a lousy influencer. <laughs> and also nobody talks about how it feels when you post something and people unfollow you. Thousands of people. Your videos and posts don't get views and some of the people are more interesting. Of course every job has its hard side, but still being something in social media isn't the dream. Or at least I think so. It can be hard mentally, 
I feel lucky that I don't have to feel myself and my life doesn't have to look too exciting and fabulous all the time. My boring life feels so safe and I love it. During my voluntary work for free home cleanings and before that I was a volunteer in a suicidal hotline. I have met a lot of young people who feel clipping loneliness and not feeling good or enough. They feel like their life isn't anything. It's boring and they aren't the best in anything. This can lead to self-healing by drinking and using drugs, which is never a good idea. Of course, I can only speak for myself, but I don't believe that you find happiness from social media, parties or new exciting things. I think they can be extra on top of your good life. Your basic things, friends, family, balanced diet, sleep, exercise and having an interesting job and hobbies. For me it's cleaning. That's the key to my happiness. And everything else is extra. I love going to parties and travel. I love that feeling when my video is going viral and people say nice things to me on social media. But without my basic life, those things wouldn't make me happy. The studies tell that young people are more anxious than ever. This is really serious as young people are our future. That is the reason why I want to help as many young people as I can. I think it's important that young people who ask for help also receive it. So they have a good memory of asking for help and that things can be fixed. Luckily Scrub Mommy is always happy to help me. Woo! <laughs> Look how she did the dishes. Amazing! The kitchen is almost done. Woohoo! I have to wipe this and then we can move on to the living room. A lot of clothes. I'm gonna put them into these clear bags so the house owner can wash them later. This home is somehow very sad. When you feel that nobody cares about you, you quit caring too. And when you don't care about yourself, you for sure couldn't care less about what around you. That's a spin. This youngster has just thrown everything on the floor and into his bed, like dresses and cans and clothes. Ooh. This is his bed and my fiance is going to clean it. <laughs> I love that he is wearing the same pink gloves as I am. I love them. Next, let's hear what he has to say about this home. I've been cleaning these houses with Auri many times lately. This house was quite normal job for us, but the house owner was very young boy. I think he was like 18 or 19 years old, so this cleaning felt special in somehow. To be honest, at the first few job sites, cleaning was a bit disgusting, but now I'm fully used to it. The cleaning is quite easy, but still rough. On the video it seems like we are just collecting all the trashes quickly, but in reality it can take many hours and the trashes smell and there are usually some bugs and maggots in there. Nowadays cleaning is still fun though. At first I felt also overwhelmed easily. Like this home is never going to be done. But now I trust that we can clean any home. Now I get to organize this bookshelf. It looks super messy. And all the stuff is just laying around there. For me the organizing things is one of my favorite chores. At first I'll take all the stuff out of there. Then I wash it and wipe it clean.
And then comes the best part. I'm going to arrange all the house owner's belongings back on order. Okay, and now the bookshelf is done, so it's time to move on to the living room. And now my first job is collect all the dirty clothes, so that Aura can clean that dirty rock under the clothes. I'm gonna clean this carpet with a squeaky. Yep. I love my squeaky. <laughs> Look how easy it is. Squeaky also collects any hair, pet or human very effectively. To be honest, this table is pretty terrible. I don't like that black writing on there, so I think I'm about to buy tablecloth. Yes, <laughs> that will do. Okay, we didn't find tablecloth, so <laughs> this is kid's sheet. Yep, but it's white and it looks pretty and yeah, looks nice, don't you think? I noticed that this kid didn't have any lights in his home, so we bought one and I installed it. Now he has nice light in his home. Dusting, 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 woo! <laughs> dusting is super cool! It's so satisfying. Hey, I'm coming to the UK this month and I'm looking for a dirty home in the UK London or near London. Do you need help or do you know anybody who needs a free home cleaning? Send me pictures to my email here or you can also find it in the description. The house was also missing a fire alarm. It has been a big fire safety hazard because all the dresses and the missing fire alarm. But now the problem is fixed. Let's clean this bathroom. Woo! That rug is dirty, so I don't know what to do with it. Just get it out from there. Trashes, yay! Let's wash this sink. Oh, there was tomato sauce. Weird! <laughs> Dish soap and scrub, mommy.
that was pretty satisfying. Let's wipe it and then new soap. <laughs> now it's shiny and white. I'm still wondering what is wrong with this lemon juice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't wanna know. Yep, but let's clean this shelf and this mirror. Here I'm using dish soap. Dish soap? You, you can use dish soap anywhere. Try it on your bathroom. It works like magic. Ooh, rinsing. Woohoo! It's spotless! Love it! Dusty, dusty toilet! If you don't have floor drain, you can still wash it with dish soap and flat mop, but after that, just wipe it with a cloth. If you are doing so, don't use that much dish soap, because then it's easier to wipe it. But I like to use a lot of dish soap, because I love that foam. This floor drain cover is pretty yellow. I have to buy a new one. But first, let's wash this. Ooh, hairs! And then I'm going to brush it with toilet brush. Hmm, super easy. Let's rinse these and let's put them back on their places, yes. And next, the new white cover. Ooh. It looks so good, don't you think? <laughs> Love it. Okay, I don't know what is that, but let's scrape it away. Goodbye, whatever you are. <laughs> hey. I think the house is done and me and my fiance are super happy. Now this youngster can come home and his home is clean. <laughs> Enjoy these amazing before and after pictures and we will see on my next video. See, see you, you then. then. Bye bye. bye.